Oh. Oh. That's what he does. Either when he's full or he's being lazy and he's not swallowing as fast. Then he sneezes for a little bit. And he's all better. Are you all better, my man? So I've been collecting footage for a while of all the bottle feedings that we've been doing since day one. I started on them on the bottle, uh, I think, from the second day that they were born. You know, as they were getting born, I was starting them on a bottle because I had a really bad experience last year when I wanted to put a kid on a bottle because he needed to be on a bottle because he was being a wild goat and he needed to spend some time with his dad. Um, I, I realized that if they're four weeks old or older, it's just a really hard thing to put them on a bottle. So because of that, I decided that this year I was gonna try my best to put them on a bottle. And even if they don't get it 100%, kind of make it into a routine so they understand that there's food coming out of that bottle and making it easier if I need to switch them to 100% bottle babies. All right, let's see, big, big boy. Come here. Oh, I know, I know, it's so scary, so scary. I know, I know, just a minute. Three pounds, 14 ounces. It says 4.9, he's 2.14 ounces. Two pounds, eight ounces. So, mochas, chamuse, see? No, they haven't gained an ounce since yesterday's yes, babies it takes about i'm gonna say that with the method that i was doing the bottles i would bring them in i would check their weights record that and then give them as much milk as they would want typically between half an ounce some even less than half an ounce and others up to an ounce so it wasn't a lot of milk but what I wanted to achieve with this whole thing was to train them to a bottle. Let me tell you, little Annabelle right here, she is naughty. And she only gained an ounce, so I'm gonna try to bottle feed her. I don't know, ooh, look at this. Maybe. She's a fighter though, so she's gonna, I thought she was gonna be more of a, I hate you and I don't want this stupid bottle kind of attitude, but maybe, maybe she won't. Let me get put this over there. Maybe she won't. Maybe she, she will definitely love the milk. Who knows? Again, I feel like with, oh, look at this. This is Bree, little boy. And I don't remember if he took the bottle last time I tried, but we're gonna figure it out. He's making a mess and not drinking, that's for sure. Let's try again, okay? He only gained an ounce since yesterday. We are going to try to feed this little girl and see if she will take the bottle. I'm trying the pictured nipple. Uh, she's still not getting it right, but there's, there's some that is coming out. So eventually I'm hoping she gets the idea. And we're gonna try and hope that he is as smart as his little sister, but he's kind of finding it, fighting it. And he is not sucking on it. Let's see if he takes the bottle. He was looking for a tea, so I'm assuming he's hungry. He was really hungry. Look at that. You can't hear it because my husband is working on the roof. You can hear. 
Here's some Junior. Let's see. that this is where the milk come from. There you are. Good job, little man. Oh, oh, that's what he does. Either when he's full or he's being lazy and he's not swallowing as fast. Then he sneezes for a little bit. And he's all better. Are you all better, my man? With checking their weights and bottle feeding them, it did take a long time because they just don't suck on the bottle immediately. It takes a lot of trying and opening their mouths and kind of restricting them against your body to make sure that they take it. So if you are starting some kids on the bottle, just know that some will get it very easy. Like you give it to them and the first time they just know what to do. And there are other babies that it really takes them a long time and it takes a lot of hunger for them to realize that they can get the same milk from a different place. So just give yourself grace. It was really hard for me in the beginning to understand that this was gonna take at least a week of doing every single day without fail and train them to be able to take the bottle. Now, what are the results of really having them take the bottles? Well, the ones that did take the bottle very easily, and I'm talking about Clara's boys and girl, they're the friendliest, the friendliest baby goats. Uh, they just want to be with you. For some people, that's a negative side, so you might have to weigh that in in your personal goals for your herd, but they are the friendliest. They just want to sit with me, they want to lay on me, they want to sleep on me, they want to play around, they just, they, they consider me part of their herd or part of their family and not a human and something completely different like the other babies that are nursing exclusively for mom. But things are gonna change now that we're going to start milking. So I need to make sure that if there's anybody with some need to be supplemented, then I train them so they can take it from a bottle and not have to fight so much with mom. And to be honest, there's a point where moms really don't want to be 100% of the time with the babies because they want to be left alone, at least in my experience. So once I start milking, they really enjoy that time alone and away from their kids. That's my experience. That doesn't mean that they're not gonna scream. They're gonna scream, they're gonna, you know, want their babies in the morning after 12 hours. But in my experience, they're fine. They just don't, they don't look at you like, where are you taking my baby? What are you doing? That's my point. I really hope that now that we're gonna start milking, uh, these kids are gonna still continue to gain some weight. I'm still checking their weight, not every day, because at this point I have some kids that are two weeks old and that I can see that they're healthy and they're growing and maybe too much. So I am not checking them every day, but I am doing it once a week. So that way I can keep an eye on those. But if I see a sick baby, and I share with you the three signs that your baby goats need a bottle. So if you miss that, I'll link it up here in one of the cards. But just, you know, you know the signs now. So if you see a goat that is acting that way, then you know that baby's probably starving at this point, you know, because they're older, so they shouldn't be as cold. And it's not really likely they're constipated. So anyways, I appreciate you coming along with us. I hope that you're enjoying all these extra contents and not only the tips, but also a little bit of what the babies are doing. They're starting to eat hay and it's the cutest thing. Um, I just love to go and see them try to eat from the hay bag. I wanted to do a creep feed area for them. It's not gonna happen this year. This milk room, I think it's more than enough for this year as a big project. We just don't have the time or the resources to you know, continue to expand here. But you know, now having an outside area for the goats, having their house so they can sleep at night, but not being there all day peeing and pooping, 
it really is uh, helping a lot with the maintenance uh, as far as the goats go, especially now that there's gonna be a lot of people coming in and out, picking up their babies and just getting to know some of them. It's just gonna be a very hectic time. So I need to be able to find systems that are gonna work and that way I'm looking at Dom Jr. He's taking, he's trying to take a nap, but he is so funny. Thank you so much for being here today, guys. I truly appreciate your support. And remember, if you don't mind, leave a comment down below, share with me something. If you're new, say that you're new so I can give you the proper welcome. And I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye, guys.